CataractCoach.com. This IOL is going in upside down, so how can you flip it into the correct orientation? So let's watch the case here. We're going to fast forward to the end. Here we go. Nice normal rexus cleaning up the capsule bag. This is just the cortex removal with the IA probe. That looks great. And then the lens is going to be inserted. Now, when you insert the lens, always remember in your mind what I call the 7L rule. The leading haptic should come out like, like the number 7, and the trailing haptic like the capital letter L, 7L. That's why I always say to myself as I'm injecting these types of lenses. So now, the surgeon here is going to fill the capsule bag with viscoelastic and get the lens injected. Now, what are the causes for a lens going in upside down? It could be the way it was loaded. Maybe it was loaded upside down. There could be a twisted in the injector tip, something. Let's watch carefully. So again, more viscoelastic, okay, the eyes nicely filled. A pinch more, okay, we'll take it. We'll always rather have more viscoelastic than less. You want that nice deep deepening of the caps or bag. Deep AC, sure, but also, in, also inflate the bag. I want the big bag. Here comes the lens. Let's see the action. Now this is a lens that's not commonly used, at least not in my surgery center but I will show it to you. It's a single piece acrylic lens. And so here comes the lens. Now look carefully at the injector tip. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. There it is, there's the haptic, and it's not a seven, it's the opposite, it's the wrong direction. So here I'd switch my right hand, flip the right hand all the way over, good, 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 more, 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 oh, it went back. So you almost had it. That's the idea, I would have done what you tried to do and didn't quite work. So now, how will you flip it over? You've got an instrument in the eye, and you can use your other hand. Put down the injector. You can lift this up, and you can get it flipped over, but it's helpful to have two hands. And also, don't scrape the endothelium of the cornea, and there's the flip. So my advice to you is, number one, use more viscoelastic to really deepen the eye more, because you lost a little viscoelastic with the eye one insertion. Number two, use the second hand. Put the injector down. Use the second hand. You can help flip it in the eye. It's also sometimes easier to flip in the eye if it's a big eye, right? A big myopic eye. If the eye will power is like, you know, a 10 or 12 diopter, then, you know, there's a lot more room. So nice save there. What are our take-home lessons here? You definitely want to put the lens in the eye and in the correct orientation. And that means not upside down. If you put a lens in the eye and the haptics look like the letter S, remember, as I say, S is for stupid. That may be a stupid mistake. You don't want it to look like the S ever. It should look like the letter Z or the number two, or as I say, the leading haptic number seven and the trailing haptic capital L, seven L rule. And as you're doing the lens, that's why you keep it in mind. As you're injecting any of these lenses, think, where's the seven? Seven L, seven L. And that helps you keep the lens in the appropriate orientation. Now, this lens may be planar. There may not be a whole lot of downside in having it in the eye upside down, other than it's a little embarrassing for the surgeon. Other lenses, though, are angled. There's an angulation between the haptic-optic junction. And some lenses, if you put them in upside down, well, the effect of lens position changes. And so these lenses are designed to work in the eye. Best optical performance is going to be putting the lens in in the correct orientation. So remember these rules as the lens goes in. You can't always count on your, on your staff to have the lens perfectly injected. Ultimately, you, the surgeon, it's your responsibility. You're the captain of the ship there. So always think, as the lens goes in the eye, nice and slow, 7L. And if it doesn't come out like the number 7, like this case, do what this surgeon did, which was great, which is try to flip it by rotating the injector before you in advance the lens more. And if that doesn't work, again, like you saw here, you can just get the lens and flip it over in the eye. But if you do that, remember, extra viscoelastic. You'll be surprised how easily you can scrape the corneal endothelium, and you'll be surprised how easily you can break the posterior capsule. And then secondly, use a second instrument. Use a two-handed approach to get this flipped over. I've got videos of this on cataractcoach.com. As you know, go to cataractcoach.com, type in the search box, the keyword upside, as an upside down, and you'll see all those videos come up, and you'll see some slick techniques as well. And this is what the video looked like without all my color corrections. Surgeons, you got to figure out how to set your camera up and do a white balance.